Hey, little aunt. Hey, Giselle, are you at home? No, no, I'm just, I just got to Sheila's. What's up? Um, I got off the phone with the photographer, so he said that he'll move it up by an hour. Um, so he's going to be there soon. I'm leaving out now, so I should be there soon as well. Okay, that's good. And that should give us enough time to get all the photos done and even get some extras in, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, quick question, what are you wearing? Why? Um, nothing, I just want to know what you're wearing for the photo shoot. Yeah, but there must be a reason why you're asking. You're not wearing that blue dress, are you? Maybe. Why? Um, I was having a conversation with Sheila the other day. I think your shoulders look fat in that blue dress. Oh, so you and Sheila are talking about me now? Well, I was more talking and she was more listening, but we were talking about the dress. Yeah, the dress that I was wearing. Yeah, I'm just a messenger. Yeah, well, return to sender. Don't ever body shame anybody like that ever again after you showed up to your interview looking like barmy. Listen, you're lucky I'm quite confident in my own skin. Hey, Chrissy. Yeah, I just got to Sheila's, but I'm just going to head back real quick. Um, can you do me a favour? Go into my room and grab the outfit that's hanging on the wardrobe door. Yes, Chrissy, the one you originally told me to wear. So, you ready to show me this campaign idea you've been working on? Yep, one second, I was just moisturising. I started using this new skin cream that all the A-list celebrities have recommended. It makes your skin glow. Do you want to try some? How? Chantel, just to let you know, I have seen the rest of the team's original campaign ideas and they are really good, so you do have some tough competition. Remember, whoever wins will have their campaign made, plus they'll be able to keep 50% of their earnings. So, this is a big deal. Cool. I've sent it over to you in the email, but Kevin, honestly, I'm not worried. I'm a trendsetter. I was the first person in Jamaica to wear a fur coat. I think that's more down to the fact that the country's 40 degrees. Anyways, the name of my campaign ad is Lightning Insurance. Need protection now? So, what's with that question mark? Well, it's to emphasise the statement. But that makes it a question and not a statement? Well, it could be both, because we're technically asking our customers if they need protection now. So, it is a question? Yeah. And what do you think the response is going to be? Oh, absolutely. Chantel, there's more of a chance of me getting struck by a bus than being struck by lightning. I don't think people are going to pay extra for something that's not likely to happen. Um, well, I was struck twice by lightning in Jamaica during hurricane season. Well, this is London, not Jamaica. The only thing you're likely to get struck by here is a parking ticket. I don't think people are walking around worrying about cover for insurance to be struck by lightning. Don't mind me, guys. Just passing through. Well, Chrissy, seeing as you're here, do you ever get afraid that you're going to be struck by lightning? All the time. Especially when it's raining. I suffer from lightnigma. A what? Uh, lightnigma. It's when someone has a fear of being struck by lightning. So, Chrissy, would you say that you need protection now? Absolutely. See? I call bullshit. There's no such thing as like enigma. Ah, uh, whoa. Whoa, Kevin, you're sounding very lightnophobic right now. Chantal, I'm not buying this campaign idea. And you guys could have better rehearsed that verb, let's change. Okay, fine, but... I really think this campaign could work. I mean, what if I change the slogan? Okay, change it to what? I don't know, maybe add a few dots in and make it like so... It's, um... Need protection? Now? That's even worse. So you excited for the photo shoot? Yeah, I am. It's gonna be good. I was gonna say, don't know what you've been doing, but you seem to have this glow. You're really glowing lately. What have you been doing? Yeah. You're like the third person to tell me that this week. It's this new skin cream that Chantel has me wearing. Apparently, all the famous celebrities are wearing it. So, you know, it's been giving my skin a little extra glow. Mm, it sounds good, but you know me, if it's not cocoa butter, I'm not using it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Old school. Yes, me too, usually, but I mean. 
it's not bad and if all the a-list celebrities are using it, it must be good right well a-list celebrities they've got botox babe you can't really compare with that now mm -hmm. so i'm saying sure sure but i mean the skin cream's working for me so far so i'll just keep it using it yeah see how it goes Anyway, let's move on. Tell me about your weekend in Manchester with John. Sheila. How was it? It was a nightmare. We've never argued so much ever. Really? Yes. So, we argue about the stupidest of things. And let me just tell you. It's a Sunday, right? He decides to cook us curry goat and rice and peas. Mm -hmm. The guy cooks the rice and peas and forgets to put the peas in the rice. What? Who forgets to put peas in rice? And peas. That's just criminal, babe. Right? And then he had the nerve to call the dish goat curry. Oh, come on, no way. Sheila, at this point, I don't even think I know who he is anymore. He sounds proper disrespectful. <laughs> Actually, I'd say maybe for a while I feel like there's been a bit of a disconnect. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even think that the relationship's gonna last much longer. Look, 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 I hear what you're saying, but at the end of the day, you can't really end the relationship over food. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a bit dramatic there. <laughs> okay, <sighs> hear this. Hmm. The guy cooks his rice no peas in a rice cooker. Girl, that's your way, Okay, Wait, I trust man. you, my sister. Mm -hmm. You know I know what's up. So, Chrissy, oh my god, know. what happened to your face? What? What do you mean? There's loads of red things on your face. What are you talking about? Look in the mirror. Face? Oh my god, what happened to my face? That's what I was trying to say. Whatever it is, stay away from me. I don't know what could have caused this. Maybe it's that cream you're using. No way, it's recommended by A-list celebrities. Well, you're looking like a Z-list celebrity right now. I'm not allergic to any of the ingredients in it. Oh. It says to use once a day. And how many times have you been using it? Six, seven. How many times have you really been using it? Twenty-five. Oh my god! I wanted the extra glow. Well, you got that extra glow, all right? At this rate, we won't even need a Christmas tree this year. Lord, what am I gonna do? Well, at least no one else is using it. Oh no, Giselle. Oh my god! <sighs> What's taking Giselle so long? Like the cameraman's literally gonna be here in an hour. I have no idea. I mean, she's been in the bathroom for 20 minutes. She usually don't take this long to get ready. Let me just go and check her out here. Okay. Make sure she's alright. Shh, shh, shh. What's happening? Oh, is everything okay? No, it's not okay. What's happening in there? Come in and close the door. What's going on? She oh. look at my face. She. What the? Look at my face. I can't do the photo shoot looking like this. Oh. Hey, what's going on? Whoa. She. You've got leprosy. Huh? I don't have leprosy. I've seen Passion of the Christ. This is leprosy. Okay, now thanks for that. Let me handle this. This is really quick, quick, quick. What's going on? Look at me. I'm gonna do a photo shoot looking like this. I don't know what's happened. I mean, did you eat something? You're allergic. I'm I not. I, is it hurting? The only thing I can think of is John's rice that he made in a rice cooker. Mm. <sighs> that rice. And do you know what they say? That rice, it gets bad chemicals in the rice cooker. That's why I don't use them in oh, I knew I should have trusted my gut. I mm -hmm. shouldn't mm -hmm. have eaten it. Always from your gut. That's when I tell you that. Look, I'll get you inside. <sighs> Chantel, I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of a crisis. It doesn't have anything to do with red stuff being on your face, does it? Yeah, how do you know that? Well, remember that cream? Yes. What about it? It's gonna help me get rid of this stuff because you know it makes my skin glow no it, it's it's what caused the red stuff to be on your face what yeah so Shanta, why did you let me use this i didn't know this was gonna happen uh, it said only use once a day and we kind of overindulged once a day what's this vaseline anyway how do i get this stuff off my face i'm not sure but chrissy's on the computer now looking it up and we'll let you know as soon as we know Okay, okay, cool. Just, I've got a photo shoot in an hour, so hurry up, yeah? All right. So, hold on, hold on. Are you saying it's the cream that done this? Apparently so. I really thought it was the rice cooker. So did I. Um, by the way, I just spoke to my deacon. I can arrange an exorcism in an hour. No, no, no. Get no, out no, of my face. No, okay. What is he like? Well, I'm not trying to rub it in anything, but... This is why I always use cocoa butter, babe. It's never failed me. Do you know what I mean? Do you want to buy some? 
Anything yet? Well, it says online here that if overused and a bad skin reaction is caused, stop using immediately. Okay. Stop using immediately! I'm sorry! I didn't want to lose my glow. Your glow's already being overshadowed at this point. Oh, God. What about a pill? Does it say anything about a pill? There's always a pill. Well, there's no pill. One person online said that they used a knife to cut out the blisters. We could try that. Or... You could just stay home for the next few days and wait it out? No, I'm overwhelmingly busy with meetings, conferences and things. You do realise those don't mean the same thing, right? And I'm going to have to cancel my date with Piers Morgan and we both know what he's like with rejection. Well, I guess you can go on a date with Shrek now, right, Fiona? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I spoke to the photographer about five minutes ago, so he's cancelled today, but he said he's happy to reschedule till next week. I'm so sorry, guys. I really didn't expect something like this to happen. It's, like, it's fine. I mean, how are we supposed to know this cream was going to cause leprosy? It's not leprosy! No, oh, stop it already. It's not leprosy. I mean, look at it. It's probably shingles or something like that. You know what? Right? I'm going home. I'm not staying. Calm down, we're just joking with you, babe. No, not oh, the baby. Relax, relax, it's just fun. Come on, just bounce, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 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 Oh, my God. What now, babe? Yeah. John mm -hmm. just broke up with me by text. What? He done with you, babe. My text. That's low, man. You are right? Oh, come here. It's not good, man. It's no good. No! She might still be contagious. Oh, that's true. Uh, oh, boy, man. Just be strong. Hang in there, girl. Hang in there. You must text him back, innit? Yeah. Hey there! Lucy, what are you doing? <laughs> ah, I'm just trying to connect you to my 30,000 <laughs> disrespectors! <laughs> hey guys, say hi to Mary, because her skin be popping! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my guys, that was amazing! Be sure to like, subscribe, and say whatever. I don't know. I love you guys. Peace out. <laughs>